everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with these Squishmallows, Squishville packs. We have the Catacorn Squad, the Fantasy Squad, and the Bright Squad. I'm so excited. Each of these have four little Squishville Squishmallows inside, and there's two visible, two mystery minis. So, we can turn it around and see what the back looks like. Oh my gosh, there's a farm squad. I haven't seen that and I need it. Okay, I definitely need it. I don't, I've never seen that though. Anyway, we get a ton of fun friends, of course. I don't see any more other than, like any different ones other than the farm squad that I haven't seen yet. But I'm really excited to get these open. I guess we can go ahead and start with the fantasy squad. So we'll go ahead and pop this open. So immediately we'll see our two visible ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it off screen. So it's a surprise for you guys. All right, now I'm going to bring in our friends one at a time. So we'll start with the two visible ones. And um, I'm in love with this one. This one's to oh, oh, it's too, it's, it's totally just the cutest thing ever. I love this. I actually, it reminds me, I used to have a small business where I made, um, well, it was mostly clay miniature food that was turned into jewelry and other things. But in my spare time, I like to sculpt other little mini things and I sculpted like little dinosaurs like this. They look just like this, except I did them in like yellow and red, but still, the shape looks so similar. I love it. Anyway, these are just the typical Squishville Squishmallows full of stuffing and they have embroidered features here embroidered eyes nose or sorry eyes and mouth no nose <laughs> and they're just so cute I just love them all right that's our first one and I'm not I know the last time I opened one of these packs I didn't know their names and I was sad that they didn't have the names attached to them uh, that we just like didn't get a checklist or anything but you guys came through and you helped me out in the comments below so make sure you do the same and let me know the names of some of these if you guys know them I kind of know some Squishmallows names but I'm not I don't I have a terrible time remembering names in general so anyway we have a little little unicorn gal look at her little sparkly horn so cute this whole nose is embroidered on too she's just adorable and i love her little fuzzy tail all right so now it's time to pull in the mystery ones which oh my gosh just wait and see you guys you're gonna love them this is our first one this beautiful unicorn a little rainbow unicorn gal she is stunning she's pure white and then she has a tummy that has some pastel colors as well as her mane and tail have pastel colors. She's so cute and I am obsessed. She's my favorite so far from this pack. All right, let's see who else we're going to pull out. Oh my gosh, I think I have a new favorite. Oh my goodness, just you wait and see, you guys. We have a little dragon. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. I love the tail and the little wings. The wings are sparkly. We have a little bit of a, a, a thread loose here, but we can clip it up. But it's so cute. I love the little sparkly wings, the sparkly ears, or the horns. The horns are different sizes, actually. That's fun. Have a little bit of a different guy. Love it. So those are the four from the Fantasy Squad. I'm just gonna set the box over there. Next, let's go ahead and open up the Bright Squad. So the Bright Squad, I guess we're just gonna see a bunch of different bright colored animals. It's not gonna be anybody in particular. Now, I I mean, it is guaranteed. If you look at the, if you look at the, um, the blind, the, the, the little outlines, right? They matched who we got. So it kind of gives you a good hint of who you're gonna get inside. And it is the same from, from my experience opening these, it is the same opening uh, every pack. So every single fantasy pack you open, the mystery ones will be the dragon and the unicorn. That's from my understanding and I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Anyway, first one in our Bright Squad, we got this little cheetah. She's so cute. I love her little eyelashes. I love all the ones that have little eyelashes. She has tons of spots. The spots are all printed on the fabric, so they're not stickers or anything, which I love. All right, and then the next visible one we have is, I'm thinking it could either be a raccoon. I think it's a raccoon. Yeah, it looks like a raccoon. 
Look at this cutie, how adorable, oh, I love it. So the face is all embroidered and then this white bit is all stitch outline. It's really good, I love it. I feel like this is backwards. So I feel like the, the light color should be on the inside of the ears, but maybe that's just how it's supposed to be. All right, now we get to look at the mystery ones. All right, I can't wait to see. Oh my gosh, it's a little dinosaur. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy, so cute. I got a little plastic bits in there, but oh my goodness, so stinking cute. I love him. He's a little, his face is a tiny bit crooked, but that's okay, that's what makes him him. You know what I mean? It's so great, I love him. All right, and then the next one and last one from the Bright Squad is actually this squirrel. I believe it's a squirrel. And this one is packed with stuffing. I've never felt a Squishville this, this stuffed. I love it though, because that'll be good for standing up and everything, or sitting up. Now this same embroidered features, but this one actually has a blue nose and mouth, which is fun, and then the whole white bit is stitch outlined. And then these bits here are also embroidered. Okay guys, we're almost done, I can't believe it. Now let's go ahead and jump over to the Catacorn Squad. It looks like we have, of course, two Catacorns in there. That are mystery. <laughs> But I'm so excited! They kind of look similar, the two visible ones do. I'm not sure if there's just, they're all gonna pretty much look the same and just be different, I mean, different colors, essentially. I mean, if they're all catacorns. So we have this purple catacorn, and she has a little, I'm gonna just call it rainbow pastel tummy, and inside of the ears, she also has a sparkly horn. All of the features here are embroidered, lovely, squishy. And then let's get the next and last visible one which is the same style, except, you know, she has open eyes, so like a little bit of a different expression, but she also has the rainbow tummy and inside of the ears. You can see the rainbow is a little different too. And then let's open or check out our, I was gonna say invisible ones, but they're not invisible, our mystery ones. So first up we have this one. This one is a pink, like tie-dye kind of, look to her. I love that. I love that fur pattern. It looks amazing. It looks stunning. She has the same face, facial expression as our first catacorn with the little squinty eyes. She does in fact have a different color horn though. This one is pink. And then last we have a cute little white one. All white except for a little rainbow tail. And she has the white slash silver sparkly tummy and inside the ears and the little horn. I really, really like her. She's probably my favorite from the Catacorns. I was gonna pick the last one, the pink tie-dye one from the Catacorns that I like the most, but I don't know, I think I like her the most. I don't know who I like overall though. I have to really think about this. All right, you guys, here are all of our Squishville, Squishmallow friends that we opened up from all three packs today. I'm gonna go ahead and ask which pack was your favorite overall? The Catacorn pack, the um, the Bright Squad, or the Fantasy pack? Let me know in the comments below. I think, I think, I really, really like the Bright Squad the most, which surprises me because I didn't think I would, but I think it's just because we got more variation in characters. I don't know that the fantasy is really good because I love the little dinosaur, I love the little dragon, maybe, oh, but the Catacorns, the Catacorns are stunning. They're beautiful and I love cats. I don't know, now I'm thinking I might like the fantasy or the catacorns most. <laughs> no, let's let's decide. Ready? Three, two, one. Fantasy is my favorite. Uh, but the catacorns are a close second. That's funny how the bright was first and now it's last. <laughs> anyway, I've decided it's the fantasy. I really, really like the dragon and the dinosaur and the unicorns are cool too. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.